I recently made a video on the best features of Microsoft Edge. Today, I'm going to show you a whole new browser that is turning out to be very promising. It's called the Art Browser. Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, all are very comparable browsers. Same tabs, same functionality, similar features. But Art Browser is built from the ground up differently. Here are a few reasons why I'm loving this new browser and you should give it a try too. So let's go. The Art Browser is built by the company called The Browser Company, a new startup which has delivered big with the Arc. Arc was primarily built for the Mac, so a lot of these features are still coming to the Mac first, but there is also a Windows version as well. Some features are still not there in the Windows yet, but the browser company promises to bring parity to the Windows as well. With that intro, let's jump into the browser and let me show you what I like in it and how it is different. Okay, this is the main page of the Arc browser. Nothing much going on here, right? There is a sidebar on the left, address bar above it, place to add new tabs and the pages themselves show up on the right. Vertical sidebar is nothing new, Edge has it and I like it. But with Arc, vertical tabs are the only way to browse the web and I'll tell you why it's that way shortly. You can now open a new tab using the button like this or just like other browsers, type command plus T to open this command bar. Here you can type to open a new web page. You saw how different the new tab bar is? That's because this command bar is like Mac's spotlight bar. You can do anything you want to do in this browser by typing in this command bar. Let me show you. I want to have a side by side split view. I don't know where the icon is or what the shortcut is. Instead, I simply open the command bar, type split view and enter. A new split view is created. I want to pin this tab like bookmarking. What do I do? Open the command bar and type pin tab. There you go. The page is pinned to the left. Want to open a new window, hide the sidebar, save page, print page, view history, switch to dark mode, you name it, you can do anything from the command bar. Now let's talk about the sidebar for a minute. Arc browsers have a unique concept called spaces and profiles. Profiles are similar to what other browsers offer. I can create one profile for each user or each task. I created two profiles, one for me and one for my husband. The good thing about the profiles is it keeps my favorites, pin tabs, passwords, extensions all separate. This is profiles, but combine this with spaces, it just supercharges your experience. You can create more spaces for each project or each task. You can name them as per your liking and give icons to it as well. For example, I will create one space called YouTube for all my YouTube needs and it will be under my YouTube work profile. I will have another space called social for all my social media. I'll have another profile called personal for other general browsing. I also have one last profile called Gautam for my husband. This way I can keep all my work organized in its own spaces. To move between spaces, I can simply swipe on the sidebar. Art browser gives so many features for amazing organization. But we have just scratched the surface. Wait until you see other features of Arc Browser. Okay, I have my web pages organized by spaces. What if I want to bookmark some pages? Arc has a slightly different concept for favorites. It's called favorites tab and pin tab. Favorites are like live pages which are always active. You can favorite a page by dragging the tab to the top of the sidebar. This page is always active and live. For example, Spotify, notes, email apps, social media pages, etc. Think of it like an app is running on your browser. The favorites are per profile and are shared across your spaces. You move between spaces of your profile, your favorites are also there. There is something called pin tabs. You can pin a tab by dragging the tab at the top. These are per spaces. So when you move between spaces, you will find pin tabs of that space. For even better organization, you can create folders inside pin tabs to keep them categorized. You can even create nested subfolders for even better organization. I'm telling you, these are some things Chrome and Edge needs to bring to their browsers as well. After using them for a few days, I'm unable to go back to Edge or Chrome. Okay, we are not done yet. Arc has even more options. Get this. I want all my YouTube web pages and Google Drive pages to be in my YouTube space, all my social media to be in my social space, all my shopping pages in my personal space. I can very easily move between spaces to open a new web page, but Arc has made that easy as well. In settings, there is something called air traffic control. Here you can specify what pages should go to which space. This way, when you open or click on a web page, Arc will automatically open that web page in the space and profile you have mentioned. I don't even have to manually organize them. Arc will do it for me. So cool, right? If I click on an Amazon link, it automatically goes to my personal space. Any social media link automatically opens in my social space. It just works beautifully.
Okay, one more feature to even level up your organization in Arc. This is my personal space and I have 20 different web pages from ChatGPT, Cloud Services, Wiki Pages and more. To organize these pages, there is an option called Tidy in the sidebar. Click on it and Arc will automatically reorganize the pages into multiple categories for you. Neat, right? If I want, I can then create a folder using these categories to pin them for later use. Edge also has this feature of tidying too, but Arc has definitely taken this to the next level with foldering. Now, those were the organizing features unique to Arc. I want to talk about one more super awesome feature built into Arc and that's called Boosts. Unfortunately, this is available only for Mac right now, but it'll soon come to Windows too. What does Boost do? Think of this, Chrome lets you customize the browser theme, Arc lets you customize individual web pages. Can you believe that? I read a lot of wiki pages, but I want to tweak it to my liking. How? Click on the address bar and select this icon called Boosts. Here I am going to change the color of the web page to my liking. Then I am going to change the font and font size to my liking as well. Next there is an option called Zap. Using this Zap I am going to remove a few elements from the wiki page. Like the heading, side navigation pane, some unnecessary text and a few more elements. There, now the Wikipedia page looks clean, neat and to my liking. Now here on, whenever I visit any wiki page, it'll show up in this theme. Clean and nice. How awesome is it? I can even do this to any web page like Gmail, Google Drive, etc. to create a custom theme for just that website. There is a boost gallery if you want to just download and get a theme for a web page as well. My most loved feature so far. Okay, there are a lot more features in Arc which I find so useful. I'll give you a very quick rapid fire type list of features that I love. If I want to quickly open the split view of a tab, I can simply drag and drop a tab where I want the split view to be. Arc will create a split view tab easily. Many times like shopping, Google search, wiki search, etc. I want to quickly open a link, read and close. Arc has made this easy too. When I shift plus click on a link, it opens a floating window on the page. I can quickly view the content and when I go back, the floating window is closed keeping my tabs clean. I can open it fully to a tab if required as well. I can quickly ask ChatGPT something by typing ChatGPT in the command bar and asking the question directly. It will automatically open ChatGPT with the question. Normal browsers have a find option to find something on the web page. Arc has AI built in. So when you open a web page, you can actually ask questions like this and Arc will respond to you with appropriate answers. It's called the ask feature. Browser downloads with random names are a true nightmare. Arc browser, when it downloads something, it will rename automatically to something more contextual and meaningful for easy identification. Another most loved feature of mine. Oh, did I mention that ad blocker is built in the Arc browser itself? I also like the Arc search on phone which will automatically search something for me using AI rather than me searching Google. But those details for another day. So far, I'm loving the Arc browser. I wish it would soon get feature parity between Mac OS and Windows. In my use of past couple of weeks, it's been stable, fast and reliable. I think Arc marks a significant shift in ways we use browsers. Give it a try and let me know what you think. What was your favorite Arc feature? Let me in the comments below too. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Sanjana. Bye-bye.